Hey, good morning, and thanks for coming back to the channel. I'm trying a, a new camera. Actually, it's not a new camera. It's one I've had for a while. Uh, but um, uh, I want to try some other things uh, when I do editing. But uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to have some thoughts about how you really know, how you really know that the anti-gun, anti-self-defense, anti-Second Amendment people are, are beside themselves. Uh, and, and one clear one. Now, if you remember back when the amount of gun purchases is going through the roof, it still is, but more importantly, uh, the, one of the biggest, uh, uh, groups, demographic groups were black folks and women. And, uh, that's the, that's the left's, the Democrat political base who they think or thought was going to be able to help them with the, this anti-gun message. Well, now you have a whole bunch of people going, oh, wait a minute, I'm liking this gun thing. I'm liking knowing that I can have this. And no, I don't like the fact that it took a lot of energy to get it. And now you're gonna to try to make it harder and or make me pay a lot more money and at the end of the day, take this away from me? I don't think so. So the, that Democrat, Democrat, try it again, <laughs> demographic group has, um, has awakened. Why is that important? Well, you know that, you know that the, that God people are in that because they're getting preachers from the black church to go out and get interviewed on, on mainstream media. But more importantly, you got both Michelle Obama and Barack Obama on two different interviews, both saying the same thing. I don't know why anybody needs to have a gun. Nobody needs to have a gun. Weapons of war, blah, blah, gun epidemic, blah, blah. They are clearly targeting the black community to try to say, y'all black folks, stop buying guns. Y'all buy too many guns, then, it, then, then we're gonna start killing all these bad guys. And we don't think that's good. And we wanna take guns away from people and, and, and now you're gonna make us take it away from you. Guns are bad, people with guns are bad. Uh, that is the, the, the kind of message that both Barack and Michelle gave. Interesting. Interesting. That was just two weeks ago. Now, let me talk a little bit about uh, all this kerfuffle that's going on with the uh, pistol brace uh, uh, rule that's come and due, um, and the ATF, and some of the other things. Now, keep in mind that all of the alphabet bureaucracy is in the executive branch which all belongs to the president. So the president, the executive branch, has all the guns. He has all the guns of the government and has all the enforcement through the bureaucracy of the laws passed by Congress. Now, why is that important? Well, every president since Reagan uh, has been, and as Democrat or Republican, has been gorging themselves on power. And they have been able to wield that power since 1984 very effectively uh, with this, um, uh, this philosophy called Chevron deference. And you've been hearing that. Chevron deference ended up giving the bureaucracy a lot of power to just make shit up on behalf of the president. Because the president could say, I want this, and then the bureaucracy would go off and figure out how they could use, come up with a rule, Chevron deference, and now that, that be, it's not the law, but they have penalties, criminal penalties and other, other things to make you comply, whether you're a business or an individual. Um, that has allowed the executive, the president, and it's under the unitary executive. That's unitary executive means 
That's another word in my mind for dictator or tyrant. Every president since 1984 has been gorging themselves on power uh, using the bureaucracy, using Chevron deference in the bureaucracy to make that happen. Now, there have been a couple of Supreme Court rulings that have killed Chevron deference, not directly, but indirectly through their rulings. Now what's at stake, and this is why it's important for our pistol brace ban, ATF rules, and so forth, there is a, there is a case going before the Supreme Court uh, soon that directly, directly, directly attacks whether Chevron deference as a philosophy should exist at all, at all. Uh, the, the smart money, the smart money is that the Supreme Court is going to kill that off. Once that happens, the ATF, it'll be like having them been castrated as far as we, we're concerned in the Second Amendment community. Because a lot of the rules that, are, that they have put in place were based on Chevron deference. That goes away. A lot of the rules, including the NFA, including some other things, die. die they just die because there, there's no basis for them anymore. Now, the president, and I don't care, I don't care if it's the current president, Biden, I know that the previous president, Trump, hated the idea of having any power taken away from him. I mean, he is, he is, he is a baby tyrant, a tyrant. He wants to be a tyrant. He wants to be a tyrant. And it was the Constitution, and it was um, the fact that he had this bureaucracy, because he couldn't sit guns on people, so he used this bureaucracy to do that, right? I'll never forget some of the comments he made. Um, now we have uh, DeSantis, DeSantis, who is going to run as a Republican. And he stood up in his, his kickoff speech and, and said all the good words. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull back the bureaucracy and let the people do the Congress, blah, blah. And as much as I like DeSantis, that was a lie. There is no way if he gets elected and he feels the power coming out of the over office, Oval Office, that he's going to want one of his key, key elements, <laughs> one of his key elements of making stuff happen if he can't get it through Congress, his bureaucracy. And if the bureaucracy is neutered by elimination of the Chevron deference, he's going to be pissed. I don't think he understands that right now, but film at 11. Anyway, those are my thoughts early this morning. Um, I've been thinking about other things too, but they're not related to prepping or self-defense. They're related to this other you know, pronouns and trans and grooming kids and that other thing. All right. So I'm going to let y'all go because I got to get to work. Um, listen, if you like the content of the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm 33 zero people from 10,000. Are there 30 people out there? Three zero? Please subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you get reminders. And as always, wherever you can, whenever you can, however you can, carry on.